Aloha. Okay, are we just doing my bottom half today? <laughs> Let me fix this real quick, quick. Okay, let us see what we have today within the energies. I think today is Aquarius moon, if I'm not mistaken. So let's tap in. When we're here, we tap into our breath so we can fully receive this message that the divines are trying to give us. But in order for us to receive it, our minds have to be clear. So we feel our cores, letting our cores rise, not our chest, picturing a light going down our spine. And when we exhale, we exhale with the buzz of the bees. And then on our second, we will exhale with the hiss of the snakes to tap into that internal medicine, to tap into that nature, calling the bees home, allowing them to pollinate, letting the blood flow to spaces that they've never been before, turning the lights on within this house. Yeah, we're like the lighthouse for our people, for the divines up there, our motherships. We got Papa and Wakea. For our motherships and our fatherships, okay? So not forgetting the power that the divine masculines have, yeah? And so if it's Papa and Wakea, then that's beautiful because like I was saying with that lighthouse, you know, I've been saying the lighthouse, if the bulbs are out, you know, if it was being overused and nobody was changing the shit out and, uh, you know, keeping up with maintenance, they weren't able to find you. They were lost at sea. Lost at sea. E ola ao, grant me life. Papa and Wakea remind you that the importance of examining and accepting the contradictions in your inner and outer worlds. Each aspect contributes to the whole. As the various aspects struggle, are articulated, expressed, and acknowledged, new life emerges. Okay, so new life. New life. Tapping into the energies of the divine. So what's going on? What type of new life? Okay, so I'm seeing that somebody's feeling stuck. Somebody's really stuck in their head, experiencing nightmares, dealing with grief, dealing with depression. And I feel it's because you have to fully... It's giving you an opportunity to fully transform and call out to the divines. You cannot do this alone. You know how you call your homeboy or your homegirl when you've got some issues. And a lot of them can't solve that shit for you. So call upon Mama Earth. Somebody's not wanting to make a move. And, you know, really call upon them. I just saw a chariot in reverse in the deck. And somebody's crashing down. Or it could even be, you know, the partner too because your lighthouse wasn't on. So they got into a crash because they couldn't fucking find you. Wow. Okay, five of pentacles. So who's being clingy and jealous? The high priestess. The high priestess is being clingy and jealous and trying to hoard some shit? Sis. Hmm. because you're healing and in the spotlight <sighs> the sun hmm. happiness success So if somebody sees you as the high priestess, they know you're the high priestess. And they don't like that. They don't like that you're transforming and they want to keep you stuck here. I don't know why that's always the fucking... Damn. Look, heartbreak. So somebody's going through a heartbreak, somebody may be going through divorce and that's why they're stuck in their head. It's 
time to rest and recover. So that also could be you, you know, holding all your shit back to yourself because of what happened in the past or because of what's happening right now within your life. It's like you were stable, you felt... No, let's not go there right now. Okay, so recover, really resting and retreating because I see that there was a lot of obstacles. A lot of challenges were standing in your way. The tower. So I feel you've seen it coming before it happened. And that's why you, you were experiencing this depression and anxiety. <gasps> Dragonfly. Tower. So I see someone who knew it was going to come to an end. It's like you foreseen it, but you also, yikes, could have manifested it by foreseeing it. So with this tower hitting and things falling out of place, it's allowing things to be built on a stable and firm foundation. Because they were trying to shake you out of this situation that you had no... You just didn't belong there. Yeah, so they're trying to, you know, pick you up out of that dark space and offer you a new opportunity, maybe even a new career. Or investing in something new. We have the Ace of Swords. Two aces back to back. Offering you the truth, offering you clarity on why you are being held back. And they're saying it's because you are rushing into things. Why were you rushing? Why were you in a hurry to, you know? Even if it's like a career choice, why did you feel like you were in a hurry? Well, of course, we need money. Yeah, I get that. I get that. But we also need to properly align ourselves in the career, in relationships where we belong. You know, if we feel like we're the high priestess, you can't fucking, you know, be working at motherfucking McDonald's. Wow, she came back. Okay, we have the daughter of pentacles and the son of pentacles. So yes, that, that rock bottom was pushing you to where you needed to be. So you can rebuild on a new foundation. So she's cool where he's at. He's cool where he's at. see something from this book really quick please because these have a little bit different interpretation than the okay so daughter of pentacles welcomes in new ideas to materialize you are probably focused on your ability to manifest a dream and excited about potential possibilities. If you're considering a new venture at this time, go for it. And know that if you focus and set your mind to accomplish a goal, you can. It's all a matter of believing yourself and the works that you're doing. And then the Son of Pentacles is the hardest working personality of the deck. This card represents the everyday routine and tasks that are vital to the success of our goals. It is important that you continue to work hard and concentrate on your methods. This is truly a time when what you put in will be what you get out. So be sure you have been both patient and productive. If you're willing to do the work, your dreams shall surely come into manifestations. So this is going off on a separate journey and you know, really putting the works in and practice makes perfect. Don't give up and throw in the towel if it didn't go well the first year i mean fuck that was kind of like i don't know yeah just keep pushing and then within that year you know you see where you want to go like is this even the right career for me or do i have to 
you know, network a little more and advertise my shit a little bit more. Yeah. She's in search of something. Or you, sons, you're in search of something. But don't. It's so important to fast and to do breath work and meditate so you can fully cleanse and, you know, regain a fresh start within the cells. Like yesterday, um, I did the post about, you know, addictions, about addictions to sex, lies, food. And spirit ended up writing it as addict ion. So that made me think of the cells within our body. It's like you've been doing this for so long. You know, um, getting in, um, being stuck in depression and anxiety, that that's what you, you're always in search for, you know, and you don't even know it. You don't even know that you're addicted to rock bottom. You're addicted to painful endings. Because you're stuck in a fucking struggler's mentality mentality and a poverty mindset keeping yourself in isolation you were just like laying there for you're just like left for dead basically you left yourself it's like you left your body so maybe some of you are feeling like you weren't even in the body you're like just you know going about with the routines so breath work breath work so but she's in seek of the she's searching for the six of pentacles you know moving into a space where it's reciprocated the love the energy the time yeah so third party let's talk about it So with the addicted to rock bottom, you also could be addicted to men who are, or women who are promiscuous. <sighs> but you have to go within, you have to, okay, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be like rude, I'm not, I just don't like to see people stuck on a fucking hamster wheel and going through the same shit over and over again just because they don't want to take a little time for themselves. Yeah, you're just like waiting for somebody to come and fucking hand it to you. Take time for yourself. But this is somebody who's a wise investor and I'm seeing that once you go within, somebody's going to want to invest in you because they see that you're investing in yourself. They're going to see you investing in yourself and going within and doing it intentionally and not fighting it off, not, you know, just really be intentional about it. And then they're going to want to make a wise investment and invest in you because you're investing in you. And you have to keep that up. Just because somebody doesn't want, just because somebody wants to invest in you, it doesn't mean you stop investing in you. Yeah, because then you'll feel depleted. Because that love you're seeking is the love that you're supposed to be giving to yourself. Yeah. Okay. Let's flip that back to how it's supposed to be. There's some cards in reverse, so shifted, huh? A lot of things were mixed up, mixed emotions, too. What happened here? Well, I'm just going to leave it because I don't even know why the fuck it's all mixed up. <sighs> See? When they come in and make a wise investment, don't forget about your passions and your skills. Yeah, even if you are a stay-at-home mom, you can still do shit that makes you happy. Yeah? See another. This speaks about not being successful.
Mm -hmm. Because when you stop investing in you and just think that they will, it leaves you broken. Feeling unloved, feeling abandoned because you abandoned your fucking self. Because, oh shit, you abandoned yourself. Look, the devil hiding at the bottom of the deck it was hidden. You were burying shit. Restricting yourself, addicted to rock bottom. Addicted to people who don't have their own fucking cup, who aren't skilled. Look, it's telling you to find self-control. Also doing things in moderation, giving your time, you know, your energy. Remaining here, here. Yeah, that's going on the hermit card, expanding your mind. By resting and recovering, meditating, doing breath work, surrendering. See? And then no more heartbreak. It's no longer going to hit. No more heavy burdens. No more attracting people that juggle you. But that's you trying to make a decision. Do I take this offer or do I not? You know, like when you go into your healing process. Page of Pentacles. You don't. You keep focusing on yourself. Because they're just a page in the book. They're just a step on the staircase to where you need to get to, yeah? Moving away from difficulty. The Hierophant. Moving away from difficulty and really voicing what you expect this time. Being committed to yourself is what brings in someone who's committed to you. There could be a marriage on the way. Knight of Swords, and it could be coming in quick. Once you once you heal, like once you heal and go within, like you're gonna get this fucking big offer and you're gonna be like, how the fuck? Look, the tower in reverse. Tower in reverse. Beautiful, let's get our angels and ancestors. And I'm gonna head out, arrow. Surround yourself with protective energy, really protecting your space right now, protecting your home. I'm also seeing it as surround yourself with positive people. But you'll do that by fasting so you can connect with yourself so you can see what is and what isn't, you know? Earth Mother, feel love and comforted. Be open to receive the love. 